Hi Pisces, it's Sloan Rhodes here with your Life, Purpose, Career, and Money reading for mid-February through the end of March 2020 or whenever you happen to be listening to or watching uh, this video. Um, all of my videos are available in audio format. There are links below so you can listen to them while you're driving or exercising or going for a walk or whatever. So Pisces, this is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, and Rising. And today I'm going to be drawing one card from the Life Purpose deck by Doreen Virtue. And then three cards from the Archangel Power Tarot, Past, Present, Future Position. And then we're going to take a peek at your money with the Money Tarot by Eugene Vinitsky. As you know, I'm not a financial advisor. I'm offering a spiritual perspective on money for you during this particular time period. Whenever you happen to be watching this or listening to this, it's always the perfect time. All right, Pisces, beautiful water sign. Pisces, sun and rising. Artist, I knew it. <laughs> I just knew that was going to come up. This actually came up a lot yesterday, too. Um, and then we have flowers. Working with flowers opens your heart and brings blessings to others through your life purpose. I want to remind Pisces. I don't think I reminded anyone yesterday when I did the other readings for the other signs. But, um, you know, your life purpose is not something that you try are trying to find one day. Your sense of purpose is available to you each and every moment where you connect to it, you know. Um, and then you begin to live a more purposeful life as you connect in the moment to your sense of purpose. So life purpose can be felt very daunting. Like, what is my purpose? <laughs> you know, your purpose is in the moment and your intentions, you know, in the moment. And that leads to more moments of purposeful living, let's say. Um, and then you are automatically living a more purposeful life and you begin to understand a greater sense of what your purpose <laughs> is, you know. Um, okay, so love this. Flowers, art, artist, the artistry of, of working with flowers, arranging flowers, um, gardening, and artistic pursuits and endeavors, you know, run, you know, along a continuum. So for, the, for you, Pisces, you know, it could be that you are indeed an artist in terms of painting and this and drawing. Could be that you pursue your artistic nature through acting, music, all of that. So, you know, it's the general reading. But during this particular time frame, Pisces, engaging in those activities. Sometimes, you know, the Pisces and, and water signs in general can kind of get lost in the, the feeling, you know, but bringing it for you, particularly right now, bring it into the manifest so you can see what you're feeling in physical form is really helpful and beneficial and it gives you a sense of purpose. Why am I so intuitive picking up on so much, you know? And then, you're, okay, well, let me channel that into something, you know, that's that's manifest through the artistic pursuits. And it's not necessarily something physical, like a piece of art, but like through your acting or singing or however you, dancing even, you know, through whatever your, your artistry, that is a form of manifestation, right? Um, and it may be that in the past you, we're working with flowers as well. But it's something that brings you a sense of peace working with flowers. And if you're not actually working with flowers, having flowers around, noticing more often, Pisces, if you can't get into the garden, noticing more often the plant life that already exists in your environment on your way to work, even noticing the lone tree on the side of the road and, and beaming energy at that and saying, yes, look at the beauty of nature. It's all around me if I can just draw my attention to it. Um, there's so many different ways this can play out, and it's your game to play, Pisces. Um, but during this particular time frame, again, flowers may be prominent, or some sort of something to do with nature in that way, plants and flowers, but also the artistry. And expressing all of that that's within you. You're a very creative, artistic sign. You know, makeup artist. All of it is, is an expression of the depth of emotion that you hold within you and the way that you pick up on others' emotions and channeling that out into some form. It helps you feel confident, connected to self and to others. So if, you're, if you have not been doing that recently, um, you're being encouraged here. And it may be that you know an artist 
or you know a florist, you know, or they inspire you in some way, or you aspire to be like them or aspire to that type of career, very much in play here for you. Let's get some additional card spices. Really lovely. Such soft energy there. And, and paying attention to the details of that, you know, when you are arranging flowers, not just clumping them all together, right? You are paying attention to what looks good together. You know, same with your with the way that you express your artistic nature and sensibilities. It helps to focus your mind, you know. Um, sometimes when we're a channel for emotions or feelings, it can feel. Uh, overwhelming, but when you can focus it into something, an artistic pursuit or endeavor or something like that, it um, it feels uh, feels amazing, and it helps to give you a greater sense of confidence. Like, oh, you know, maybe part of my purpose in this moment, or if you want to go grand in my life, is to create beauty or help others see the beauty within themselves. Maybe you, you know, again, a makeup artist or something like that. And if that, if you're not an artist, to maybe go to a museum, put some artwork up on your office walls, this kind of thing, or in your home, you know, change up your art. Okay, past, present, future for Pisces. So you maybe have been feeling a little stuck, I will say, even. This is why doing something that feels creative or artistic for you is going to feel so good. And, you know, sometimes it's just probably, as I imagine it for Pisces and, and feel into some of the energy of the Pisces people I know, it feels sort of lumbering sometimes to be upon the planet Earth. <laughs> you know, it feels that sticky energy, like it feels heavy, you know, and so engaging in, in something that feels good will just help lighten you. You know, a little stickiness here. You may have even been feeling indecisive. And that's another thing, like if you uh, had a decision to make and you're trying to get there with your mind, you know, ruminating and trying to get there. Um, Doing something creative will help open you up. And you know, you've had this experience already in your life, Pisces, and you will again. <laughs> you know, where you, when you let the, prob the seeming problem go and you focus on something else, solutions come in very easily, more easily. Okay, past, present, future for Pisces. February to March 2020. Yeah, it already feels better. Excuse me. So we have the leap of faith in reverse. We have the king of Raphael. That's you, right in the center. And we have the two of Ariel in the uh, near future. And then we have the queen of Ariel under the deck here. Now this is the queen of pentacles um, in reverse under the deck. And so this could become that, some of that sticky energy because the queen of Ariel is someone who has trouble uh, managing life in a lot of ways. She needs a lot of help when I say she, but it could be a male, but it's showing up as a queen. Um, but that's under the deck there. Um, all right, so in the recent past, we have this leap of faith, right? Uh, the fool card in reverse. Now, when it's in the reverse, sometimes it's like you're doing something just to kind of do something. Um, it's not necessarily a, a leap of faith out of trust, right? It's more like a kind of a, a desperate kind of, I, I need to feel better, so I'm going to do something. So in the recent past, you may have undergone this or someone may have, um, someone you know may have um, been involved in your experience around your sense of purpose or your career, um, even your money, and and it's kind of it was kind of wearing on you. Like they needed more of your time and effort than, than you really were prepared to give, so you're kind of tired possibly. But right now, <laughs> beautiful King of Raphael in this deck. Uh, to me, this guy always looks like Chris Pratt. Uh, makes me laugh every time, but I don't know if you can see that. <laughs> this is your card, King of Cups. Warm, generous, honorable, refined. 
Yes, it is safe to trust, the ability to accomplish many things at once, follow your creative passions, Pisces. Um, spend some time at, you know, in nature, by the beach, you know. Um, again, you're swimming there, you know, it's like, shh. again, as I mentioned, sometimes it can feel very heavy on planet Earth for Pisces. Um, but also, you know, with the King of Raphael, he is known as the Counselor of the Zodiac. He's very emotionally savvy. He's not afraid of his emotions. So it may be that there is a counselor involved <laughs> around your work and career. You may seek out some counseling from, from a wise soul, or you may find that during this particular time, you are the one that people go to. Again, we have that Queen of Ariel in the reverse. Sometimes the Queen of Ariel, as I mentioned, needs a lot of help and, and you know, make sure that you're not giving of yourself to the point where you feel exhausted. Um, but I really feel like you're kind of in your power. And you're in your power, Pisces, during this particular time frame when you are engaging in the creative process, when you are engaging in some sort of artistic endeavor. Um, that makes you feel good. It gives you a sense of confidence. It gives you a sense of purpose. Um, you're channeling all that beautiful intuition and, and those emotions into something beautiful, you know? Um, beautiful, beautiful energy for you. And then in the near future, we have the two of Ariel. So you get things are getting busier. You know, you are maybe juggling two different careers, you know, you're maybe trying to do your work for money and then also do something creative. It could be you're juggling family or someone who's taking up a lot of your time, you know. Uh, but so don't take on any extra projects. You're, in the near future, you, you know, you don't want to get so busy that you can't breathe. You know, you're reconnecting with self here with the, through your, your artistry and your, and your creativity. So, um, try to have some fun <laughs> you know we have the two of Ariel the text of this particular card in this deck is it's important to have balance working multiple jobs or projects at once making work fun um, so yeah so you may you know as you are in the middle of this with this present moment with the King of Raphael channeling your creativity it may spur an invite in another job you know another artistic project creative project and you're like yeah I can do that and I can do that I'll do flowers for this event and then I'll also do this and then suddenly you're like wait I don't have any time for me remember that you you know you are the one who's the most important um, element here that's right right in the center so kind of you know cut and dry there uh, I don't want to keep repeating myself uh, I think we've, we've covered <laughs> covered that pretty well just in the near future you know you are going to be a little busier juggling just don't don't try to take on too many projects but always trust yourself, of course. But let's take a peek at your, your money during this time frame, too. And if you are juggling projects, try to bring in a sense of play, a sense of um, wonder and curiosity like you are when you are in a more childlike kind of place. You know, when children are engaging in, in creativity, creative projects, artistic expression, it's very playful. You know, it's not like, i got to get this creative project done <laughs> you know you might have to but maybe figure out where you can bring in a sense of, of playfulness and joy into it if you find that you are veering into that kind of experience so for Pisces for money and if this king of Raphael isn't you it's someone else who as I mentioned like is very emotionally savvy could be another water sign involved in the present moment who's um, helping you and wants to help you. Okay. Around your money, we have the Hanged Man in reverse. And then under the deck, we have the Seven of Wands. So in the recent past, you know, I kind of feel like it's under the deck, or maybe it's not even in the recent past, maybe it's just kind of an underlying energy of just kind of maintain where you're at. Don't overspend. <laughs> Don't try to make any crazy investments. Um, it's kind of an underlying energy there. It may even be that you, you haven't even been waiting to, to increase your, your income, but it's, always, it's just kind of been at this one level for a while, and maybe you've been getting frustrated. Maybe that's what this leap of faith is, is about. Like you're, you're just really trying to do something to, to shift this energy. Don't worry, you're in good company. Many people are experiencing that waiting room energy. Um, just hang out as long as you can because with the hang bend in reverse, we do have um, a decision being made to 
finally do something, <laughs> right? Um, it could be a fight about money too. Like, you know, if you are in a couple, one person wants to spend, the other says, no, I'm not ready yet. Um, but it looks like, because when the hangman is in reverse, it's like you're no longer just kind of in the waiting room. You're opting to get to get out. <laughs> so be, you know, be conscious so that when you do make, if you do make a decision to put your money somewhere, or to do a job somewhere, get off the fence, um, make sure you're doing it out of a sense of consciousness, a conscious choice, and not just like as a desperate move to ch you know, try to sh change things up. Um, Sometimes you can try to rush things with the hangman in reverse. So, but sometimes it can also feel like a relief, like oh, I'm finally things are finally starting to move, or I finally made a decision to move, or, or someone's finally got off the fence and they've agreed to like hire me for this job. Maybe you've been waiting for something. So, it's going to vary for everybody. So, trust your own self and your own financial advisors, of course, around money always. Um, okay, so I hope you find that helpful, Pisces. I wish you much love as always, and I will see you. Um, maybe at your private appointment or if you like a, a, a video reading you can purchase those on the website um, and don't forget to check out my weekly spiritual guidance videos they are released on Sundays usually and all of my videos are available in audio format I think I covered that and I guess that's it so um, I wish you much love and again this is for Pisces Sun Moon and Rising so check out the other um, readings if um, you'd like additional clarity all right much love to you Pisces <music>